it's been pushed. Thank you. Welcome everyone to our Chaos Diversity and Inclusion Working Group meeting on December 9, 2019. Just shared the link to the minutes and uh, <laughs> the first thing I want to talk about is whether we want to meet next week but then cancel the 23rd and the 30th meeting. Uh, yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm just super, I won't be available. Me neither. I agree with that. And then we can meet again on January 6th. Okay. So with that, then it would be to put closure on any of the um, metrics today and next week. Yeah. Okay. Then that's decided. So last time we got a lot of uh, metrics ready for release. So that's where I'm gonna start today since that's our main focus to go to the tracking sheet. I can also put it in the chat. And make sure we are on track for yep. the release. So the event diversity is all ready to go. Contributor community diversity, we don't have anything in there yet. Which one, Rory, can you say the row? Row 19 to 24. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, oh, I see you're going by focus area. Yeah, I'm just going top to bottom. Yep. Okay, cool. I was thinking uh, about releasing the demographics page that we have. What is that? Hmm? What is that? So, oh, um, I see what you're saying. We have this page uh, about demographic data and the definitions that we have. Here, I'll put it in the chat. Okay. So we have the definitions at the top of the document. And we have the dimensions of demographics, which we refer to very frequently in our metrics. And so I thought it would be good to release this as part of our metrics. So is this row 24 on the tracking spreadsheet? You know, I don't, I don't think so. I think this is separate because it's not in and of itself a metric. Oh, okay. So what are you proposing in terms of releasing? Uh, that we include this as a document in the release. It's not a metric document, it's just a definition document. Sala has a question. Yeah, I was kind of thinking this would be kind of the metric that will evolve from releasing definitions that will allow people to um, formulate what's in their head, like myself, uh, against, um, you know, definitions and uh, examples of other metrics. So, so releasing this kind of invites people who have been struggling to express what is unrelatable about um, what they see is not necessarily good diversity and inclusion, um, um, you know, um, again, I call this concept of void. Uh, you could feel that the other person is feeling distressed about it, but you don't necessarily know how to see it from their perspective. Um, and, and so the other person is left to say, okay, so how can I explain this? And, and, and you know, hence I ended up at chaos, really. <laughs> so, so releasing this is really, um, you know, um, I, I believe it's a good step towards allowing other people to, to come and help 
create this method. Okay, so, and I think this would be, uh, if we release this, I think this would be a good appendix because we reference fairly frequently the dimensions of demographics. We do. I guess my question, my question is not about the content, it's just about the process. Because mm -hmm. normally our process has been about releasing metrics. And so this is not that, that's all. I'm 100% behind the content, I'm 100% behind getting it in front of people. Yeah. Can so, we? Sorry, uh, go ahead. Oh, I was just thinking about adding at the bottom a new, I'll call it a focus area, but really it's not, and we just call it an appendix. Um, can, I, can I recommend the thought of saying, okay, maybe this is something chaos can refer to. I mean, chaos can contribute the material um, in, a, in a common place where definitions for things like that, um, you know, like, like one entity removed, um, where, where chaos would be the, you know, the first contributor to that entity. Because I understand the, the fear of stepping away from metrics to things that can be considered um, um, you know, non-metric like, uh, like, like you're, you're starting to actually form opinion now and, and, and say that this is opinion. Uh, and that's how some people will only perceive this. Um, and, and once you start in that path, you, you can't really, um, if it ends up that you become labeled as someone, you know, with, with, emphasis on, on changing minds, not just helping you know, people measure things, then, then you, you cannot undo that and you cannot stop it early enough. So finding a place where you say chaos refers to this, um, it, it, it can as well be that chaos contributed how they reflected on that, but they don't necessarily um, uh, do it as a common practice that they form an opinion and, and, and disseminate that opinion. Sounds fair? I, I like the idea of having a shared definition that others can refer to as well. Um, or maybe, maybe that already exists somewhere, so we don't even need to maintain it ourselves. Does Mozilla have it? Well, Dr. Nikki, I mean, they have, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Let me see if I can find it. So I, I know it was very cryptic, uh, but I, I feel very, very uh, appreciative that it felt that I got understood at some level. Thank you. <laughs> That's a new feeling. It's been it's been something I've been struggling with, and it's yeah. hard for me, right? So, yeah, thanks. Oh no worries. And uh, Nikki has a section called. I just put it in the chat. Categories and definitions on her website. Yeah, I went to the same place, and then I went forward to her website. I'm guessing that's where a lot of ours came from, anyway. Uh, we have more. Okay. Just skimming through here, this is very focused on um, race, ethnicity. Okay. But it does not have a nice list like we do. Okay. I mean, honestly, is this a listening to solid talk? Is this a common metric? Uh, like for for DNI, or sorry, oh, sorry. Okay. Yep. So we have um we have a working group called Common. Yeah, yeah. And lots of times when we talk through metrics, um, Common is 
basically trying to capture metrics that might be used in a variety of different ways. So say we want to understand pull requests, but we may want to start filtering on demographic information with respect to those pull requests. And so then in that case, demographic information is a common metric. Yeah. Um, I, well, hopefully one day it will be a common metric, uh, but not, not in the sense that you're saying, but I, I, really, I really believe that it will start as a common metric for sure. Um, like there's no, no, like I, it's still formulating in my mind. Um, so, so, um, you know, you sharing that it starts off as common and then maybe it evolves elsewhere. Um, I, I remember seeing in the spreadsheet some that were not common and then they became too common that they have to become common. Um, or, you know, like the ones that were moved to the common, um, um working group for, for one reason or the other, I'm not sure exactly. Um, but yeah, it, it's a bit raw. Let's talk about the actual metric um, after we close this round, uh, you know, next year. Um, I, I know that it seems a bit slow, but you know, it's um, it's a very dif difficult um, thing to try to hammer on, I guess, from you know, from my perspective at least. What do you think about that, Georg? Um, I, I'm sorry. I am writing issue to Nikki, asking if the if she would be willing to maintain this list as part of her categories and definitions page, and if she wants to, uh, if she is willing or accepting of the idea that we move what we've created here over to her, maybe in a different form. That seems like a reasonable approach. Yeah, so I did not actually pay attention to what Solid was saying, sorry. Yeah, I just wrote in the comments that I've been trying to say to you that, you know, for, for that bit. And um, the fact that you thought about it and you were doing it while I couldn't stop talking about something else. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess we were both distracted in it, but uh, I seemed to be talking while I was doing it. So. <laughs> Okay. That would be great if, if somebody else could maintain it, because then we just point to a different authoritative source. Yeah, you, you don't become the, uh, the person who dictates whether or not another opinion is, um, you know, how, how that other opinion would fare to yours. You, you yeah, no, we've been very careful in the chaos project all along, just to be agnostic on our metrics. We're simply saying, here they are. How you interpret them in, as good or bad is not our responsibility. We have no value judgment. Yeah. Uh, but they're, here they are. They're available, and they seem to help people gain better insights onto the health of their communities. Yeah, and, and it's important to know also that even though, obviously, this is how chaos should always work and know it's working, other people should also perceive that and trust that and not have reason to doubt it for the wrong reason, right? So I think that's a really good move. Okay, I'm gonna share a text here with you in just a second that I prepared for submitting to Nikki's project. Okay. Um, and I'll put it in the Google Doc so we can all work on it. Here, do you see it? Hi, Dr. Nikki, in the Chaos DNI working group with a link to our repo. We have been working off, off, and hopefully from an internal list. Uh, actually, that was right. That was grammatically correct for some reason. Um, I mean, um, you know, um, maybe yeah. not formally correct. But Working from an internal list of definitions and dimensions of demographics. We were discussing today whether we could contribute this to your project. We would like to refer to your project as the authoritative source that we use and not duplicate resources in the open source system. Sounds good. I don't want to sidetrack you. Uh, but can I, men 
can I uh, bring something up real quick? Of course. Uh, so sorry I was late. I have a I have another meeting. So actually, I just dropped in to uh, to say something about the upcoming release, uh, and then I'm I'm going to have to leave shortly after that. Uh, so for the uh, for the release, we're we're coordinating the uh, the detail pages through the uh, the Google uh, the Google Sheet that Matt created, and we're asking all of the work groups to add. Uh, the detail page URLs to the remarks section uh, for the uh, the metrics that are that are done that are ready for release, and then if you have metrics that you're working on in Google Sheets, if you could add the URL to those uh, as well, that would be that would be helpful to just to help coordinate the end of the release and so that everyone can uh, uh, help you finish them if needed. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah, so if you actually click on, say, the evolution tab in that document, you'll see in the remarks section they have a link to the Google or to the GitHub document. It just helps Kevin coordinate things for releasing to the web. That's all. Hi, Nicole. So I, I assume uh, then we could say, oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, I assume no, no, could, go ahead. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, I assume we could say that remarks for in progress would be logically the doc, and remarks for ready would be the GitHub. Correct. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep. Hundred percent correct. And we could always track these down. It just helps Kevin later <laughs> move move through these sheets a little faster. <laughs> I, I think uh, it'll help coordinate finishing up some of those documents as well. If we have kind of a central place where we can we can point people to to Google Docs, so. All right, Gary, I just saw your issue come across the. <laughs> I follow that one. So. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I, I have to go though. So. Thanks, Kevin. So I could do that for a few of these, I guess. So Nicole, we are in the middle of getting metrics ready for the release. So oh, excellent. I thought it might be. Yeah. And here I'll do demographics. Mm. I'm just copying and pasting the links at the moment. Of course, yeah. And I shared with uh, Nicole the link to the minutes document. Okay. So Nicole, one of the things we just uh, discussed was about the uh, list of demographics, the dimensions of demographics that we have. Mm, okay. And right now, we refer to this list fairly often in our metrics, almost in every metric, I think. <laughs> and yeah. we are pointing to the markdown file in the GitHub repo. And so the question was, do we release this as an appendix to our metrics? Um, and then Saleh had the good idea that maybe it would be better to maintain this uh, somewhere in a more central place because it's not really a metric in and of itself. And so we opened an issue with the Open Demographics Project to see if they wanted to maintain this uh, list. Oh, okay. Yep, that makes sense. Unless maybe you have um, an idea for someone else who might have such a list of dimensions of demographics and would be, or would be interested in maintaining it if we contributed it. I I think that what you've actually suggested is a um, is a good idea. I don't, I don't know that I would have. Um, 
just trying to think. Um, I don't know that I, I, yeah, would be, um, have, have uh, in any, you know, more, uh, in any better list. Yeah. I was thinking about the open source diversity.org page, but they're more a, um, like a phone book of different projects and so on. They don't actually maintain yeah. any of this themselves. Yes, I'm, I'm going to share this uh, link in the chat, Sally. I don't know if you're aware of this project, the open source diversity org page. They also have a really good forum. Uh, yeah, I believe you shared that link uh, a couple, three or four weeks ago. Um, okay. I've been following up on, on all the different threads, I guess, but it, it has proved useful. Okay, looks like uh, looks like you're done copying. No, I'm in the wrong page. Matt. So I yeah, um, there were two. One row forty nine. We might just want to take care of that. Yes, that is the board diversity. Yep. And then I so apparently I still need to do row 43. <laughs> Just do the new template. Uh, we did that last week, I thought. Okay. I was, I don't know if I was here last week. I don't remember. Um, I think you were not. Was I not? The minutes say you were here. And the minutes also say I'm wrong. <laughs> Maybe I'm confusing it with the work we did. I, bet I might not have been. Um, I think it was on Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. No, I was sorry. On the last week, I saw you in one meeting, so I think it was Tuesday. There's only like nine a week, so it's probably two. So you did 50% in my life. All right. <laughs> it's well class, right? <laughs> okay, here, let me share my screen and we can go through the pull requests so that we have that all straightened out. Okay. I'll start at the bottom. We have update board council diversity, which takes the metric we had and puts it into the new template. Okay. Any thoughts or feedback on this one? No, oh, I'm sure you did a great job. I mean, can you scroll down just a little bit? I know I can look at it too, but. Okay. Yep. Okay, then we can merge it. All right, and then I'll drop that link in there and you can pull up the next PR while I'm doing that. Yeah. This board diversity. Then uh, we have a pull request to out Sale as a contributor. So the only change is adding him to the list of contributors. I object. <laughs> We reject. Okay, I'll close it. Like, I, I just wanted to hear it once because every time people say, "Does anybody object?" and like people are silent and, and they complain about having the person, so, <laughs> so I just wanted to preemptively try it out. You know. <laughs> okay, here I'll close it. Too late, you're in. <laughs> I'm not a contributor. I, it's it's possible to object. You know, I, like I just wonder why people don't use it. <laughs> okay. But I assume you're, that was just the test. I, yeah, it's all joking. Okay. Then I'll merge this. Update list of core contributors. This one is um, 
adding Matt Snell and Kevin Lombard because they have been very engaged and showing up frequently. Okay. And Sarah Conway has not been, so moving her. Yeah. Um, and we do have criteria for being on this list, and that is to participate once per month uh, over three months. So Sala, if you continue showing up, you'll be promoted as well. Merge. Yeah, like I, I hardly leave. You know, you guys already approved that, so no <laughs> going back, right? <laughs> and then diversity. What was this one? So this uh, pull request is for oh, reorganizing I... the focus areas. I see. We had a um, issue here. Um, Gil Yehuda had commented that the order doesn't make sense starting out with events. And so we discussed that maybe alphabetical would be better. Okay, so and this is reorganizing that. Yeah. And it's doing it on the demographic. No, on, on the readme. Um, and the focus area readme. Is it? Oh, yeah. I'm fine with it. Um, while I see this, so this is what it looks like in the end. Starting with communication, then contributor, then event governance, leadership, project definition. What I just noticed is that we do have um, here in demographics data, we also have this list. So I should update that as well. Say that again. Oh, here on the demographics data page, we have also a list of focus areas. Oh. I'll update this just as well. Okay. So I'll do that real quick. request now has all three files seen updated. Okay. Three, two. Good. One. <laughs> okay. So we were just talking about mentorship. Yeah, and you thought it had been updated, but I'm not seeing. So it still has success metrics, so it's not updated yet. Yep. Is there a Google Doc for this somewhere? Or no? We okay. probably have an old one. Why don't we? We can reuse this Google Doc. You put it in the chat? Are you putting it in the chat? Okay. okay. Now put the raw markdown in there as well. Okay, I'll stop sharing my screen while we work on this.
let's see. I'll work on the mentorship. I'll just start at the top, I guess. Should we change the objectives from the list to a block of text? Yeah, to a narrative. I'm just reading the description while you do that. I'm reading, I'm down at the objectives in the mentorship um, one, and I, I'm just wondering, do we typically have them in paragraph format or bulleted format? We do paragraph now. Gotcha, okay. Super long sentence. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we can probably remove that example. Just like down to here. Yeah. That's good. So in the in some of the other metrics, I was just looking how we typically write objectives. Um, yeah. We still have a few that are bullet points. We still do. Yeah, in the event, I'm looking at the event. <coughs> All right. Well, I guess we don't have a standard then. Yeah. Maybe but, it's all been narrative. The question here is whether to say to increase or just the objective is increase. Objectives to increase the number. In. Okay. To me, it starts with two, but. So, uh, sorry, sorry to be said, but I, I, I did have a question that, um, like, um, I, I, I know probably is answered outside the scope of this document somewhere. Uh, but I mean, the kind of questions you're asking about each of those, um, um, like uh, focus areas, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, I'll, I'll get the terminology eventually and then forget it. Um, so those questions are uh, obviously correlated with demographics, right? So, so it's important to know from a diversity and inclusion standpoint that mentorship is not just good, but it's good based on demographics. Um, as in, if we slice the demographics different ways, they perceive mentorship um, to be almost the same, hence it's inclusive. Um, so so um, that part, obviously, you know, if it's, if it's somewhere, it's gonna be, look, it's a superseding thing to all these documents. Um, so, um, yeah, so there's a question mark somewhere in what I said. Sorry. 
So is the question how to include demographics in this? Is that already uh, factored in somewhere where I cannot see from here, or is it something that we want to maybe discuss at a different context? Typically, as Georg had pointed out, I think earlier, most of the um, DNI metrics have a reference to def demographics at some point, somewhere in there. So if you're feeling like the mentorship metric at this moment doesn't have a reference to demographics, we can add it here. Um, I, I, I guess, uh, sorry, I guess what I was trying to say is that uh, we collect metrics that say the demographics are good, that that's a form of, um, you know, a measure, a, a good measure that um, a community is inclusive in itself. Um, but then, if, you know, like, like you would do with the census, right? Like, uh, if you say that uh, people of various uh, diverse groups see mentorship um, as good as the rest, then it's, it's, you know, it's affirming that mentorship alone and the inclusion aspect of that community in general make it so that mentorship is effective um, and effective to everyone. Hence, the community is um, inclusive times two kind of thing, uh, or exponentially even. Um, so so I'm, I'm just saying that this could be a general rule for, for every metric to correlate it with um, how it fares across the different demographics. Um, yeah, I, I agree with that. To make sure that um, people of different demographics report the same perceived inclusiveness. Exactly, you know, like not on average, the metric is good, uh, but the standard deviation says that inclusion is strong. Yeah, so I included or I highlighted two items down below also, um, which are directly talking about the demographics. So we say number of diverse mentees and diverse, we could link to our list of demographics. And then we have a specific one for geographic. Um, I know what you said is slightly different. It's not just saying they are present, but that they also perceive it as inclusive. Yeah, yeah, but definitely this is important within the metric itself for mentorship. You see what I mean? So, so it's, it's a, you know, we're looking at it from both angles, from the bigger picture and from the detail. Um, I, I know geographic distribution for mentees is something that comes up a lot in Node.js um, when they're talking about, you know, how, how they can meet the bandwidth if time zones are uh, problematic uh, for, for that purpose. Okay. Now I think we can remove geographic. Yeah, but we can leave it as a separate item. It's included in the diverseness, but that's fine. Um, so now we have all of these qualitative and quantitative aspects that we one point about about geographic, I, I was trying to allude to that. Yes, you could have a diverse, um, 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 set, you know, makeup of mentees, uh, but they could all be located in one country. So, so geographic is important that um, you're able to cater to different time zones as well. Uh, that that in Node um, um, is something they work on a lot. In, in Canada, so, so projects that. Um, that are open to just a particular workday hours are less likely to be really truly diverse as in globally diverse. Um, they are culturally diverse uh, from, from the same time zone.
Sorry. Okay. This has a very long list of data collection strategies. It does. I get a little lost through this part. You see where I am, page two. Yeah. I don't know how that's collecting demographic information. You know, mentor's experience is a different kind of demographic. It's not one of the dimensions of demographics that we have. Okay. Uh, number of contributions from mentees. I think we can move up to uh, observe contributions that mentees make during that mentorship program. So can we just get rid of that altogether then? We can also do that, yeah. I think it's implied. I do too. And then retention rate is trajectory. So the question you removed altogether, it seems like there is a, a separate non-DNI aspect of men mentorship, like common aspect of mentorship. Um, that would, that would say how healthy is the mentorship program itself, under which you would want to say that um, the amount of contributions it leads to the, um, um, you know, how effective it is to onboard, you know, th things that are separate from uh, the diversity um, it brings, but rather in the effectiveness of it itself under common. Um, do you guys do that? Do you split metrics sometimes this way? Can you say that again? I was in the midst of <laughs> cutting and pasting. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll try, but it will probably sound very. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was multitasking with my fingers and my eyes and my brain. <laughs> All right, well, uh, yeah, I don't know how that works. For me, it doesn't, but yeah. yeah I don't think it works for me either, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, I was feeling that the uh, question that was removed, I believe it was, um, um, what is the, uh, like, like it measured how much contribution came from in fees. And yeah. now, maybe there's like a, like a sister uh, metric of mentorship that falls under common or elsewhere. Um, that that could reflect, um, you know, like it's nice to have an, a diverse and inclusive mentorship initiative, but it has to also be an effective mentorship initiative. Yeah. Um, so not not just effectively diverse and inclusive. Um, Some sort of evaluation of the contributions, basically. Yeah, yeah, like like a good program that is also diverse and inclusive is um is you know much much better it's you know more than exponential at this point so i think that is what we are trying to capture here with a variety of different questions um and since you asked about the related metric one that would be very related here also is the types of contributions 
which is a common metric. Which we wanted to elevate as a common metric. It's not yet. Well, it's on its way. <laughs> it's on its way when I have time or if someone else picks it up. I think common's meeting this week, so. So it's common's like general metric? Yeah. Metric, but... At this point, right? So. Yeah, so it's just, it's kind of a metric like geographic location. It just might be something that a bunch of different working groups care to understand in a variety of different ways. No, thanks. Okay, so. Okay, this looks fairly ready to me. What do you say? Yeah, much better than it was when we started. Yeah. I can copy it back if you. Yeah, that's great. Um, I use the um, docs um, versioning feature that one, once we create the markdown file update, like the PR, uh, I basically just create a new named version called it upstream. Um, and, and, and that means at any point in time, if somebody accidentally makes edits, we can always look back to the upstreamed one in case mm -hmm. you don't have another point of reference to know what was upstream. Uh, as in we needed to upstream it again, right? Um, in this way, it's just a traceability um, backup. All right. What, what do you mean upstream? In the spreadsheet document? Yeah, I can share your screen. It takes one second. Uh, sorry, not in the spreadsheet, in the actual doc doc, like the Google doc, like the, the one you were just editing. Um, can I do that quickly in a sec? I'll just show you and then. Yeah. Uh, I've never heard anyone say something about upstream in a Google Doc. Um, yeah, so it, it's not that. It's actually just making sure that in the doc, um, you know, since since there's more than one source uh, of truth and, and one can go missing or needs to be recreated. Um, if we said, okay, this is now copied, the PR is open, then what I do is I just go under the version history and say name current version. I just say up. Mm -hmm. This way, if at any point this document was edited, we can always refer back to that name version. How do we go back to that OC version history? Yeah. And okay, then, I see. Right. I, it's, it's like, just, you know, me being me, I guess, but uh, it, it, it could be helpful. Um, you know, edits can happen when you're not looking sometimes. Yep. Okay, so we have a pull request. Shall I merge it? I approved it. Excellent. It's merged. Here. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will get that into spreadsheet and. Oh, I'm doing that actually right there. I, whoops, what did I do? Okay. Done. Okay. So there we have. Seven, two, five, eight, nine that are ready based on either updates or newly developed. You know what I mean? Yeah. For Kevin. Okay. Is there going to be any? I guess maybe one of the questions for you, Georg, is there anything next week? 
that is worth pursuing? Or, I mean, at what point do you think we kind of call a halt to actually working on the metrics? You know what I mean? And spend time perhaps on the badging program or something like that. Is there something to do about the badging project next week? I don't know that we just start talking about it more actively or something along those lines. Because we've just been spending a lot of time on metrics. So I guess the question would be, do we want to pursue another one next week? Um, I would do a one last push next week, make sure that everything is OK. And if we can get one more in, that's great. Maybe. Um, I, yeah, you know, the um, documentation, we started working on that several times. Maybe. Do you have a Google, you have a Google Doc for that? Um, let's see. Yes. I'll post it in the chat. Okay. That was uh, where we left off last week. Okay. Okay, well, so why don't, I'll put that in the, there, the Google Doc is now in the spreadsheet, the tracking spreadsheet, you know what I mean? So we could do that next week. Yeah. Okay. Because, uh, yeah. We've put already so much effort into it. Would just be nice to and then finish it up next week. All right. Well, let's let's do that. I mean, we're at the top of our hour here, so. Yep, yep. I agree. All, All right. right. Anything okay. else, Nicole? Did you have anything you wanted to bring up? Uh, no, not at this point. You guys are making significant progress. So no, I'm. Nothing for me at this point. All right. Well then, have a good day, everyone. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, guys. See you, everybody. Okay. Um, bye bye. Um, uh, Georg, I just want one one last thing. Can we uh, go? Up?